working with multiple documents. I'm going to show you first how you can open several documents at the same time. So we're looking at pre-typed documents once again. So we're going to find these in my computer. And once again we're going to find them in a handout folder. All right, now I'd be able to open one at a time. However, you need to know that you can open several at the same time if you wish. If you want, let's say, press 1 and press 3, you would put your control key down and that will enable you to select a different document. If you wanted all three of these at the same time, you would click the first one, put your shift key down, and then click the last one and that would select everything in between. There could be hundreds of them and it would automatically select everything in between. So, for this particular case, I'll just open, let's say, press 2 and press 3. And when I hit open, it'll open both. Okay, so now I have both of them open. And now with both of these open, there are certain things that I can do. I can arrange them so that they fit on the screen. I can view them side by side. So let's try arrange is putting one on top of the other. So I can look at the top there and then by clicking on a different window, you're able to scroll down. So right now the bottom one is what we call active. And now if I click in the top one, now the top one is active. I'm not a huge fan of working with one on top of the other. I would much prefer them side by side. So I'm going to opt to click this button which says view side by side. And now it's taken my documents and as you can see this is much more user friendly. And again you can click on one or the other. So this is press 2 here and this is press 3 here. Now right now they're set to something that's called synchronous scrolling which means if you scroll one they both go at the same time. Now you're able to remove the synchronous scrolling if for some reason you didn't want both of them scrolling at the same time. You want to scroll down one while the other one stays there. You're able to do that. So I'm going to get rid of the synchronous scrolling by going to, I'm on the view tab here, so I'm going to go to window, click on the window button, and then you see how this is on, synchronous scrolling, so I'm just going to click it once to turn it off. So now I can scroll down this document, and this document's not being affected. It's not obvious why I would do that, because this is just a one-page document, but if you had a 70 page document and you wanted to read the top of one while you're looking at the bottom of the other you can do that you'd be able to select and copy parts from one from the top of one and then paste it maybe into the bottom of another so that's why you would want to remove the synchronous scrolling once in a while you're able to change the zoom in each independent of one another so right here I can zoom out now right now they're both zooming at the same time now I should be able to set the zoom separately for both of them. Now if you want to do that, you actually have to go to this zoom button right here and change it that way. So if I want to go page width, I can go page width. I can set a different percentage here. So, unfortunately, when you change the zooms down here, it wants to do it for both windows so that they both zoom together. But if you want to zoom independent from one another, it appears as though you have to come here, and now you're able to choose a different zoom for this page than you'll have for the other page. A little awkward. I would prefer to be able to just click on one pane and zoom independent from the other, but that doesn't be it doesn't seem to be an option. If I remove the side by side and I I work one on top of the other, I believe I can do that. Yeah, quite easily. However, they don't give you that option when you're working side by side. 
So keep that in mind when you're working using multiple documents and using your Zoom.